Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Nick and in today's video, we're going to be going over the latest update to Bamboo Studio. We're getting some great exciting new features that make multicolor 3D printing easier, cleaner, and more efficient. First up is the purge optimization. This feature helps reduce the extra filament used during color changes in multicolor prints with the average savings of 20.9% for official Bamboo Lab filaments. That means less material waste and more efficient printing. Next up, long retraction has been enabled for more types of filament on the X, P, and A series printers. Retraction pulls the filament back slightly to avoid unwanted drips and stringing. And now this helpful feature is available for a wider variety of filaments like PLA, PEDG, and ABS. This gives us cleaner, more precise prints no matter what materials you're working with. We're also seeing purge optimization for 12 colors in Bamboo PLA basic filament lineup, which further reduce the waste of color changes, prints for popular colors like red, green, blue, and gray. These settings are optimized for official Bamboo filaments for the best results, though users can still manually adjust settings for other brands. With these new features, Bamboo Studio is making multicolor printing simpler, cleaner, and even more environmentally friendly. Another exciting addition is the Brim Ear Tool, which helps improve bed adhesion for your prints. This tool lets you add small mouse eared shaped brims to specific edges of your model, either automatically or manually. These brim ears give added support to delicate edges, helping prevent lifting and warping during printing. In automatic mode, you can adjust the settings like head diameter, which controls the size of the brim ear, and the max angle, which sets the maximum angle at which the brim ear will generate on an edge. There's also a detect radius that helps the printer identify minimum edge sizes where brim ears might be needed. For more control, Painted Mode allows you to add and remove brim ears manually, giving you the flexibility to support only the edges that really need it. Together with the purge optimization and extended retraction settings, the new brim ear feature makes it easier to print challenging models with better stability and quality. A helpful new enhancement is the scarf seam. Now enabled by default for more bamboo materials like PLA Basic, Matte, Silk, Galaxy, and PLA CF. The scarf seam feature strategically hides the seam line where each new layer begins and ends by blending it into the model's natural contours or less visible areas. This helps create cleaner, smoother finishes on prints, especially with materials that might show visible layer lines. Additionally, common use settings for the scarf seam are now easy to locate in the filament settings, making it simple to adjust the features across different materials for optimal results. The update also includes a print history section at the bottom of the homepage, allowing you to easily track and review records of past prints. This makes it simple to revisit previous projects, monitor your print history, and keep your workflow organized. For users working in different network setups, subnet binding support is now available. This feature allows you to connect printers across different subnets or network sections by directly entering the printer's IP address and access code. In simpler terms, even if your printer's on a different part of a network, you can easily link them together without needing advanced networking skills. There's also an upgrade for the filament management. You can now edit filament information during printing. For the P-Series and A-Series printers, you can now edit filament info on the go, even for filaments that aren't currently in use or in autofill mode. You can replace an empty spool before it's completely used up and the printer will automatically switch to the new spool to keep your prints going seamlessly. The A-Series printers also now support auto calibration directly from the calibration page, allowing you to trigger calibrations quickly and easily. This feature helps the printer adjust and calibrate automatically, saving you time and ensuring your prints start with the most accurate settings. Next up, the filament thermal scaling compensation setting allows for adjustments when your print shrinks after cooling. For example, if a 100 millimeter block prints at only 94 millimeters due to shrinkage, this setting lets you scale the model in an X and Y plane to account for it. So your prints come out at the intended size. This can especially be helpful for materials that tend to shrink as they cool. On the homepage, you'll find a new Maker World search box. This makes it easy to browse and find designs from Maker World directly within Bamboo Studio, helping you discover new models and ideas without leaving the app. Now, before we move on to the improvements in Bamboo Studio, I quickly wanted to mention that the channel now has membership options that are super low, like $1.99 low. It means a lot to me when I see new members joining. I just started releasing all my videos early to members as a perk, but I plan to add more to this soon. If you would like to become a member, I'll include a link in the description below. If you have a suggestion on member perks, I'm all ears. All right, moving into feature improvements. Improved 3MF compatibility for multi-printer models makes it easier to switch between different printer sizes. When moving a project from a larger to a smaller print bed, like the A1 Mini, this feature will automatically arrange parts and reposition the wiper tower to avoid collisions. This is a fantastic improvement, especially for those working on larger builds with multiple printers. Personally, I ran into this exact issue just today while working on my Triceratops build. 
so I know firsthand how valuable this upgrade is. Great job, Bamboo. Oh, and offhand, this may be a feature improvement to pave the way for the new printer that's going to be released next year. Further enhancing safety and precision, Wipe Tower Collision Risk Reduction optimizes the Wipe Tower's starting position after the material change. Previously, the initial print on the Wipe Tower sometimes had issues with under extrusion, and every layer started in the same spot, increasing the risk of a collision. This update spreads out the starting points across all four corners of the tower, preventing the buildup of defects. Additionally, reducing the length of the rivet between the tower's outer wall and infill to zero minimizes the chances of collision when switching between infill and outer walls. Next, we have the display estimated print end time feature. This is a quick reference for when your prints are likely to finish. Although it may not be perfectly accurate in some cases, it's a useful way to estimate completion time at a glance. For multi-part designs, retain color information after split to object part allows you to keep color information even when splitting an STL file. This makes managing complex color-based designs much easier without losing your initial setup. The ironing inset feature improves surface ironing by focusing it only on interior areas, avoiding ironing on outer walls. This prevents uneven or melted edges that can occur with too much ironing on the model's outer surfaces. This is a great improvement for achieving clean, polished results, especially on top surfaces like text. In addition to these updates, Bamboo Studio now allows paint on support on vertical surfaces. This feature allows you to apply support material directly on vertical areas of tall objects, which helps prevent parts from wobbling or falling over during print process. This added control makes it easier to stabilize prints by adding supports to them. Improved preset package update notifications is another new convenience. Users will now see an automatic pop-up alert when updates to preset settings are available, similar to how software updates work. If preferred, you can also manually check for these updates whenever you like. Next up, improved Boolean tool selection interaction makes it easier to use Boolean operations like merging or subtracting objects. Now you can select the objects for Boolean operations directly from the object list, making the process faster and more intuitive. The third party model addition feature now allows for tear shaped cylinders as negative parts, which are perfect for creating horizontal holes that suit 3D printing. This new shape gives more flexibility when designing models, especially when precise hole shapes are needed for aligning and fitting. The SVG tool interaction upgrades makes it easier than ever to adjust SVG files. Now a pop-up window lets you control the depth, size, rotation, and even mirror your SVG file. You can then drag and place your SVG directly onto a surface of another model, just like you can with a text tool, making customization quick and flexible. For users with custom build plates, you can now create heat beds with specific region logos. If you have a logo or design etched into your build plate, you can now load the SVG file into the build plate and see it visually in the software, allowing for more precise alignment of your prints on top of the logo. A new visual icon for parts with variable layer height makes it easier to identify these parts in object mode, simplifying project management. Cooling parameters resolve another helpful addition, allowing you to control whether bridging lines are included in cooling slowdowns for better print quality. To improve mesh accuracy for step imports, you can now set your desired accuracy by adjusting line and angular deflection. This gives you more control over the detail level in imported step files. The enhanced coordinate system in move and rotate tools allows you to freely move and rotate parts within assemblies using the world, object, or part coordinates. This flexibility makes it easier to position components accurately in complex builds. Auto homing now requires confirmation, adding an extra step to prevent accidentally activating this feature. A new print plate, the Bamboo Plate Cool Super Tack, has been added, which is compatible only with certain materials like PLA, PETG, PET, PVA, and PLA Aero. Note that support for PLA and PETG is not recommended for the first layer on this plate. Stop Print Button Optimization reduces the chances of accidentally pressing the button mid-print, something I've almost done myself. To keep things organized, newly imported parts, initial position adjustments, prevents newly imported parts from appearing too close to existing ones, minimizing risk of accidental overlap. For those using third-party printers, third-party printer preset additions have been included, adding popular printers like the Creality K1, AnyCubit Cobra, Elegoo, Elegoo Neptune series, and GTEC. Language support has also been expanded with Korean and Portuguese translation updates for better accessibility. In terms of performance, Optimization memory consumption in the device tab has significantly reduced page faults, making the interface smoother. The text tool coordinate system optimization fixes placement issues that sometimes occur after scaling, rotating, or mirroring parts, so your text placement will remain accurate. Display mesh with transparent shell and preview mode is another handy visual addition. Now you can view your model in a light, transparent way, making it easier to see each layer's arrangement and details in preview mode. 
Bamboo Studio also introduced a roll-based wipe speed parameter to automatically adjust the wipe speed depending on the type of extrusion line being printed. For instance, if wiping follows an outer wall extrusion, the wiping speed will match the outer wall speed. The Maker World upload button position adjustments help prevent users from accidentally uploading files to the wrong place by making the upload button's position more intuitive. The Maker World upload button has now been renamed to the Publish to Maker World, preventing confusion with users thinking they're uploading their models to their printer. For more customization, adjustment handle size and move and rotate tools allows you to change the grabber size in the preference options, making it easier to select and move parts. Automatic beta version push support is now available. By selecting preferences, general settings, support, beta version update, you'll receive a pop-up notification when a new beta version is available, keeping you updated with the latest features. A network status notification now alerts you when the cloud server connection is lost so you can troubleshoot connectivity issues promptly. And lastly, when changing filaments, if the PA profile has an option matching the filament name, the system will automatically match the PA value, saving you time and ensuring consistent settings. All right, that wraps up the improvements in this version. I hope that this video was helpful and that you understand the latest features coming from Bamboo Studio and how they can enhance your 3D printing experience. Hope your day is going well. Have a great one and happy printing.